what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife And welcome to Thursday's video a little bit different this week uh, usually I have lots of cooking on here um, this week's been a little bit different we're getting ready for a fundraiser we uh, had grub club earlier in the week and um, we Daniel's father has passed away and we're getting ready to sell chickens so if there's not a lot of cooking but I am fixing supper on here uh, I'm not taking you through as making it a recipe because you've seen it on my channel probably a million times but I'll bring you along for it but we're gonna go get some items for the benefit fundraiser we're doing this weekend and I'm just gonna bring you guys along with us with us and I'll end with our supper from the other night and then I'll come back on and say goodbye Hey everybody, I see a store that looks very much like what I would like to go see and go in and would thoroughly enjoy. And we are going to get to go. U.S. Food, Chef Store, great food, wholesale prices. Okay everybody, this is our kind of store, my kind of store. He was on the phone but finally got him off so we're going in and see what we can find. Sales. We have scallops. Little scallops, big scallops. There's Judah and Levi's muffins. They had a really cool cooler area that had all kinds of meat, and Bryant is in there. Their milk, their anything um, cooler wise. Um, here is my favorite part of the store and you guys look at there I love this I was in heaven just looking at all of this now you guys always ask me where I get my flour and sugar containers I get mine at Sam's but this store did have them I'm not sure if I saw the price for them or not but um, this store had them now, Bryant was looking at these for the barbecue sauce for the fundraiser we're doing. It's a benefit barbecue, and they had two sizes. They had a large and a small. I originally thought the small, but when we mentioned it again, we thought the big ones. So we put the small ones back and got the big ones. Now, the whole reason we came to this store was for a four-ounce scoopers. And these are the scoopers we like to use. We use these in our restaurant. And so we're going to pick up four, either four or six, but we're getting the four ounce scoopers, which I believe are the gray handled ones there. And we wanted um, no holes. We'll use that for the slaw and the baked beans and so forth. But they had a wide variety in any, any size. You could give them slotted or not. Y'all, I was just in heaven here. <laughs> I just love this. Um, I'm sure when I get to heaven, the Lord's going to have a kitchen store for me. <laughs> and look at this spice aisle. Oh, I was so amazed at this store. Bryant spotted this. He said he could drink this whole can. And guess what? king of gift cards just happened to find a gift card hey we've got an olive garden gift card look at our lips yeah they're bright they're really pink you know why your chapstick <laughs> i bet you oh it's the reflection of my shirt 
So we're headed into Olive Garden for soup and salad for a late lunch. And then we'll have to figure out something for supper. No, no, this is leper. Lunch this is supper. not leper. leper. <laughs> I'll be hungry again before bedtime. All right, what did you get? I got the chicken yoki soup. Well, we did the soup and salad lunch special. Mm -hmm. I got the chicken yoki soup. And you got the pasta. I can't pronounce I can't pronounce it. Fajoli. Fajoli. Pasta fajoli. I had to think about it. Yep. Good little deal. Soup and salad, unlimited with breadsticks, the famous breadsticks right there. Eight ninety nine a piece. So with a gift card. With a gift card. <laughs> From the king of gift cards. That's right. Okay everyone, we're going into one of our favorite places, although this is not our normal spot. This is one in Winston that we used to come to. But uh, we're going to head in here and get the things we need for the fundraiser or the benefit fundraiser. He's leaving me. Okay, everyone, we got Ziploc bags to put the cake slices in, and then we'll put the Ziploc bags into brown paper bags. We got tin pans to put the barbecue in, and two packages of those, and the little wax sheets, wax paper sheets, that we can put on top of the barbecue and beans and then lay the roll on top of that. And we have slaw coming, and so everything is coming together greatly for this benefit fundraiser for this precious precious family so we finished in Sam's and now we are headed to a place we've carried you guys before we're headed to Schuler meat we're gonna pick up some baked beans there and of course I go in the store section and look around and see what they have that I might like and can use so that's where we're headed now all right, and here we are, another one of our favorite spots, Schuler Meats. Let's go in and check out the store before we pick up the beans that we've ordered. I love Crowder peas and I love to get them here. I like these better than black eyed. I just love them. Well, everyone, we ended up getting my Crowder peas that I showed you in there, um, some country ham pieces. Bryant fries those up and eats them. I season like Crowder peas and pintos and stuff like that, green beans with them. Uh, I got some marshmallows only because I have eaten all of the ones Judah got for his hot chocolate. And we got a pack, a beautiful package of stew beef in there so yeah i'm out to the car and bryant has gone to pay for the beans for our um benefit we're doing so um he'll pull around and we'll load those up so tonight for supper we're going to make salmon patties now um and yes i say salmon so just, that's okay. That's the way I say it. It's okay. Um, so, anyway, I normally use Bumblebee. But I'm going to use this brand. Because when I got it the other day, they did not have the Bumblebee. I love the boneless, skinless. There's something about the double Q, the kind my mama made, <laughs> used. Um, the bone and the skin thing in the center just kind of... Um, I, I just don't like it. And so I'm going to use this and I love this boneless skinless, but I've never tried this brand. 
So I'm gonna make that. I'm also going to make half potatoes. Half potatoes, um, I heard about those from my friend Jennifer over at A Country Life. They are cranberry farmers and I love her channel, but they, I've done her half potatoes a lot. Now, normally I do stewed potatoes when I have salmon patties, but we're gonna do half potatoes. The only thing is, normally when I've made her half potatoes, I have made made it with russet potatoes. I don't have anything but Yukon Gold, so I may not cook it quite as long as I would a russet potato, but we're gonna try the Yukon Gold with the half potatoes. So, I'm gonna get started on supper and I've done videos on, I think, everything I'm making tonight and then the other side will just be canned peas. What Bryant calls dog ticks. But we're gonna um, make those and it's just gonna be a simple night. I've done videos on my salmon patties before. You can go check them out. I'm super simple, I don't get fancy with mine. I use quite a bit of cornmeal, a little bit of flour, salt, pepper, egg, and we're good to go. So I am going to drain all this salmon, squeeze all the water out. Um, the family's coming over. So I'm getting ready to get this started. So, okay, I will see you guys back in just a little bit and we will get to go. My stove, let me tell you, where I cook that icing, it is a mess it is a mess but i'm gonna go ahead and get these salmon patties cooked before i worry about the cleaning the oven in fact i probably won't clean it till tomorrow sometime so i'm gonna get started i'll see you when we get back to cooking all we do with half potatoes is you use your well loved pan that is clean it's just well loved well, I take that back. I did have biscuits on it earlier. <laughs> but um, what we do now is there's plenty of oil on there. And then I'm just going to season the pan with some seasoning salt. All over. And you can season it with whatever you'd like. I've got a little garlic here. We can put a little garlic on. I'm not going to put a whole lot of garlic. But then you just take your potato and slice it in half and rub it down in that seasoning and there you go. Now I do kind of spritz it on top with some spray or with some of the oil and or if there's some extra oil I'll take a brush and put that seasoning and the oil on top as well. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all these potatoes over here. We're going to slice them up and I'll put them in a 400 degree oven. Probably these will probably go 25 to 30 minutes. A russet potato would go much longer, but um, we're, we're going to just kind of play this one by ear. I'm going to keep a check on it. I've never done this with Yukon Goals, so we'll just watch it and see. My oven is preheating. As soon as I get that done, I will drain my salmon and get it squeezed out and ready to have the cornmeal added, the flour added, and the egg. And then we'll be frying those up. I did not get any tea made. I wonder if I have time to make tea. Probably not. Let me see if I got time to make tea. Salmon patties are done. So I know this is a crazy ending to this video and this video probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's, um, it's just kind of how our life has been this week. This week, all through the end of this week is going to be crazy. But um, the salmon patties were a huge hit and I actually ended up hiding two of them so we could have um, two the next day. <laughs> so, um, but they were a huge, huge hit. The half potatoes were delicious. Now, Isaac was a little upset because every time I make salmon patties, I always have stewed potatoes. 
And he was like, this meal is not normal. He says, these potatoes are really good and I want you to teach me how to make them. He said, but I want my stewed potatoes. <laughs> stewed potatoes go with salmon patties and meatloaf here. That's what we have stewed potatoes with. And I just didn't get home in time to peel potatoes and boil them and everything. It was just much easier for me to get them just washed, sliced, and in the oven. And um, so that was the first time I think ever I've had salmon patties and did not have stewed potatoes. And that was kind of a uh, getting used to. But then Isaac came in yesterday, the day after our meal. He came in after our meal and he said, Mama, you need to teach me how to make them potatoes because they were really good. He says, just don't fix them with salmon patties again. But they were really good. I like them. <laughs> so isn't it funny what we get used to and that's what we expect. So anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I just thought I'd tell you that the salmon patties were, it was a wonderful southern country meal and it was delicious. So getting ready to end this video and I'm going to head to the farm. Love you guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Thank you.